Hello and welcome to MCP A Major Season 2 Tea Time where we spill the tea on what's happening during the MCP A Majors. I am Tash Buddy, your host for today, alongside Master Kokan and Hello. what do you think, Kokan? Yeah, kali ini kita akan interview team Blacklist daripada Blacklist International. Blacklist daripada Blacklist International. Kita ada Ajim dan juga Pink Tasha. Yes, that's Hi. right. So, Pink is the manager of Blacklist International alongside Ajim, who is one of the players for Blacklist International for now. Pink, why don't you tell us more about yourself? All right, selamat hari guys. Uh, good day. My name is Rafi. Uh, IGN is uh, Pink. Um I just recently been added to the Blacklist International. I think that was uh, August. So uh, I'm pretty new to the organization, right? But nevertheless, um, we're hoping that we can uh, make it, uh, you know, uh, to the entire um, Asian countries. All right. Thank you. Uh, Ajim, hi Ajim. Yeah, saya yeah. Ajim eh. Hi. Ya yeah, Ajim. Eh? Dulu saya pernah ingat Ajim. Ajim saya ingat balik dulu masa dulu dulu kita pernah makan kat Pavilion betul tak Ajim? Betul betul. Yeah, oh, boy. Kita makan kat mana? Kita makan kat mana, Jim? Dekat pavilion dekat ni. Apa kata nama dia? Tak ingat. Kita makan daging-daging potong eh. Tony Rona. Ah, Baru betul. eh, Jim. Sila perkenalkan diri yes, anda, Jim. Uh, hai, nama saya Muhammad Amirul Hazim bin Abdul Malik. Dan GN saya BLCK Jim. Umur saya 17 tahun sekarang. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Baik. So dalam dalam hmm. team dalam team Blacklist International tu Ajim sebagai apa? Rasya? Saya sebagai support. Alright. Okay. So now that we've gone through the introductions, now it's time to interrogate Team Blacklist International. And we're really excited about this, especially Ping, because you mentioned to me that you are a brand new addition to Team Blacklist. Only just last month you joined. And what's really more impressive is that you're all the way in the Philippines. And not only that, there's also a language barrier. So how do you overcome this? How's the communication like? Okay, uh, fun fact. Um, I'm currently based in Malaysia. So oh, I've been what? here for what? Right, right. I've been here for, I would say, two or three years already for, for work. Uh, um, okay. It was, yeah, it was more of, you know, getting out of my comfort zone and uh, wanting to explore things, you know, beyond the islands of the Philippines, you know, that is. And, you know, big shout out to our GM, Rada. Um, last last uh, last month, he was like uh, asking, yo, bro, where you at? And I was like, you know, I'm still in Malaysia. Hey, you want to be team manager for the Free Fire team um, for Blacklist in Malaysia, I was like, no way, you're kidding, right? Because um, I only know about Blacklist with uh, the, you know, within the Philippines. So, and they were like expanding and, and um, he was like, he was like, no, 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 I'm not. So I was like, yeah, I'm, I, I love challenges. That, that's why. I see. Okay, this is actually really interesting news. Okay, so in terms of you talking with the players, do you use uh, your limited you know, knowledge in Basa Malaysia or do you speak to them in English? Both. Um, the good thing is we, we uh, communicate uh, via the, uh, the, the, the WhatsApp, all right? And uh, you just have to Google Translate everything. First, I oh. do it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, you know, you, you have to improvise, you know, utilize technology, and um, I, I need to reach out to them. I, I need to like uh, uh, dig into whatever that they're thinking, emotionally, mentally, those kind of things. I need to consider all of those things before we um, head to the game. Because if I'm not able to tell where my players are, are coming at, like maybe they're hungry, which is they're always hungry. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we have to do something about that. Okay, thank you very much, Ping. So for now, I'm going to pass the mic all, uh, to uh, Kokan over there so he can interrogate our new player, not, not new player, but our player from Blacklist International, Ajim. Ajim! Sehat, Ajim? Ya, saya. Sehat, Alhamdulillah. Okay, Ajim. Saya ada beberapa yeah. soalan, Ajim. Okay, yeah. soalan pertama saya I'm berkenaan good. dengan uh, macam mana tim Blacklist International punya training jadual dan untuk dalam seminggu tu ataupun sehari tu berapa oh. lama? Uh, training jadual tu tu so, dalam seminggu hingga isnin Jumaat tu kita orang training setiap malam setiap malam sampai dia 5 atau 8 jam macam tu lah setiap malam wow uh, uh, berkenaan dengan uh, yelah team Blacklist International adalah team yang cukup power sekarang yang 
uh, berada di MCP tapi malangnya korang tak ada gaming house kan so macam mana korang yes. berkomunikasi ya eh? so, untuk komunikasi kita orang uh, buat masa ni mungkin agak susah sikit lah sebab kita orang semua jauh kan mungkin hmm. oh, jauh-jauh, kadang-kadang eh? tu hmm, jauh kadang-kadang tu ada yang lag ada yang maksudnya ha setulah So Blacklist International uh, ada plan nak buat gaming house tak? Uh, sebenarnya ada Tapi buat masa sekarang ni kan nak rentas negeri pun tak boleh Yang lain betul, pun betul. jauh uh, So kita tunggu ni lah rentas negeri So nanti Blacklist International ada gaming house dekat Malaysia Sekarang korang ni dekat placement uh, round standing sekarang ni uh, oh. Korang tempat keempat? Macam ah, mana yes, tu? Tempat keempat Kenapa boleh jadi uh, macam tu? Macam kita orang cakap walaupun kita walaupun lag uh, internet lah. masalah kita takkan ha. apa macam itu bukan pahalan no kita orang untuk naik ke atas internet internet tak ada no problem ha. amin ok letak tepi so, tak ada internet yes. pun boleh main betul tak betul <laughs> Opa, itu ha, itu bukan pahalan <laughs> kita orang lah betul kalau kita fikirkan balik kalau blacklist international boleh perform dengan internet yang slow Cuba bayangkan Blacklist International dengan good equipment, good internet. Confirm yeah. dekat atas. Bayangkan. Betul tu. Yes. Well, itu saja soalan Ayuh. daripada saya untuk Encik Ajim. Thank you very much to Ajim as well as Ping. So for now, we're going to head on to the second segment which is the highlights of Team Blacklist International last weekend. Let's go. Just to taking on your invitation as a challenge and if, if you shoot okay, them, Bing, I, well, back, I have some questions back, about their place here. What exactly happened here? Drop, will do the same. The dome will protect these two individuals. The right. Rumble, so this is more of, of like, like getting of engaged and, and, um, and hopefully we, we can have a, uh, a better luck on getting those skills. Um, like what I mentioned a while ago, um, me, Coach, and Abjek, we're coming up with different strategies every game. Like um, in this case, it's kind of like trying our luck with. Um, hold on, let's check. Um, so there's only four kills. Yeah, there's, there's only four kills. Uh, but, but then again, um, if you remember, Ajim was like um, he he was sick from from I think it was like two weeks ago, and we have to come up with right and. Ajin wasn't like doing some scrimmages and we have to come up with a new strategy to to get into the game. I was I was like, you know, let's just, you know, coach, whatever it is, you know, just let's just put it on. Um, you know, let's see if uh, these guys can deliver. And um, yeah, um, it's just about trust. Um, we trust these players to deliver and uh, hopefully in the next few few games we were able to come up with more kills and yeah. it's one of those days yeah honestly it's actually quite interesting i don't think that that was such a bad fight in my opinion for blacklist international because that was such an early fight and you managed to knock out out of all teams team uh, team freedom rumble and that's actually one of the one of the best teams in malaysia and honestly that is something that i think blacklist international should be proud of so for now we're gonna head on over to our second highlight so let's have a look Alright, Ajim. Okay, masa yeah, ni kita yeah. dapat saksikan Blacklist cuba untuk uh, ambush uh, kepada 4X Men. Tapi at the end, yeah. benda yang sebaliknya berlaku. Apakah yang sedang kurang plan sebenarnya dekat sini, Ajim? Saya rasa lah diorang mungkin komunikasi diorang salah kot. Sebab silap komunikasi. Ha, komunikasi. Saya silap komunikasi di situ lah. Sebab di situ Isi. saya nampak dua sudah terkenal. And then, diorang boleh rush je ha, Mungkin situ then, lah salah Okay, uh, kalau kita dapat tengok video highlight tu uh, Daripada jauh sebenarnya kurang follow je Korang tahu hmm. ke team depan tu adalah 4X Men? Sebenarnya kita orang dah tahu Kadang-kadang 4X okay. Men ni diikut bawah ha, ha. Ataupun, ha, Sebab ada diikut bawah ataupun atas So, kita orang hold kat bawah, hold bawah tu diorang tak ada So, maksudnya diorang kat atas lah Ha. I see. Tapi malangnya itulah kat situ yes. orang dilobikan oleh for s eh. Agak agak terkejut yes. jugalah. Biasa orang rush ni, uh, tim yang kena rush tu mati. Tapi ini kurang pula yang bengkok. Kan? Tapi orang macam mana pun aku rasa korang dapat berapa kill dekat situ kan? Eh, 5 kill dekat situ. 
5 wow, kill. Wow, 5 kill kat situ eh. Weh, cukup mentap eh. And that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to Blacklist International for spending time with us for this interview. So don't forget guys, MCP Major Season 2 will be going on this weekend for Week 4. So until then, Booyah! Better status on! Yes, hello? <laughs> eh, dengar tak? Dengar, yeah. dengar. Hello? Hello, testing, testing, hello? Hi! Hello? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hold yeah. on. Yeah, sorry. I'll ask the question again, no problem. Ah, uh, Jin. Right, right. Jangan tak tiktok. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think there's some noise. No, uh, someone's wa washing the uh, the dishes. <laughs> okay, and kepada semua di rumah, terima kasih kerana sudi menonton dan, uh, dan spend time dengan kita orang. I'm sorry, it was so funny. <laughs> okay, no lah, no lah, no lah.